Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Motorcycle Rescue and Review. Today, I am super excited here. I have a 1980 Yamaha XS 1100 Special. And this bike only has 5,540 original miles. And I just haven't even gotten it off the trailer yet. I just picked this bike up. When the Yamaha XS 1100 debuted, it was the quickest production motorcycle ever produced. And this is in the late 70s, and it just set the standard for the big four-cylinder class as far as power output from the big four-cylinder motors. Now, to be fair, it was bigger than the other competitors from Japan. You know, everybody else was running a 1,000cc bike or a 900cc bike. This thing put them on the trailer, uh, just quarter-mile times and everything else. At the time, the Suzuki was the only bike that really handled well. A review of this bike from the time period stated that the XS1100 went around corners well and it braked adequately. You just couldn't do both at the same time. What a cool looking bike and really it's a great starting place for a project here. Most of the chrome on the bike, most of the aluminum, even the paint is really nice on the bike. The bike is dirty right now, but I'm going to go ahead and detail it out and make sure that it's just really, really, really nice. So I'm going to just kind of walk here around the bike and just show you what the starting point is so you can see the progress as I work on this bike and bring it back to life. I looked at this bike earlier in the summer. I didn't purchase it then, but the rear brake, I noticed when I looked at it, the rear brake was locked up. And I also noticed that the rear master cylinder was leaking fluid out from that so that needs to be rebuilt i will go ahead and order those parts and rebuild the master cylinder i'll probably also rebuild the rear caliper and the piston in here make sure everything's good to go there the bike does run which is great it fires up it runs on all four cylinders but i really haven't because of the brake situation, I was not able to drive it out on the road. So I'm going to be looking over everything. I'll look at my plugs. I'll make sure that the carbs are clean and functioning like they should be. Another thing, I'm gonna kind of zoom in here. These cases polish up nicely, but they are corroded. This bike set out for a little bit and it just got some corrosion on there. So these, these cases definitely need to be polished back out again and you know, that's, that's not the end of the world. The original exhaust pipes honestly look like they're in very, very nice shape. Moving on to the front wheel and the front brakes. I noticed that when I squeeze the lever, nothing really happens. So I'm also going to rebuild the front brakes on this bike. The tires actually look pretty decent. I'll check those over for dry rot before I get it out on the road, but they actually look uh, fairly nice. I'm going to get a rebuild kit for the master cylinder, redo that. I'm also going to redo the pistons here. But you can see, man, the chrome on the bike actually looks pretty good. Again, it's not perfect. This bike has not been cleaned up at all. You are seeing it as I bought it. And this, this front fork is definitely going to need some, you know, cleaning up. Looks like the clear coat's coming off, so I'll probably just polish that up a little bit, make it look really nice. Onto this side of the bike, you can see there is some more corrosion over here on these uh, aluminum bits. But that should all honestly polish out pretty nice. And again, I'm just, I'm excited. It's, it's really hard to find bikes that are in decent condition with this low mileage right now it's just very hard to find the antiques like this i always get excited when i find a bike that's already in decent shape i will service the rear on the bike this is shaft drive i will also uh, service the transfer case here i'll service the engine and we'll take a look i noticed when i was looking at the bike that you can see here the vacuum line was cracked and you know not even airtight at all so i'll replace this with a new piece and it's just part of going over it and making sure that everything is functioning like it should i want to get this bike out on the road and you know if the cosmetics are anything to go by 
it should be a really nice running machine. I will keep you informed. Uh, stay tuned for future updates on the 1980 Yamaha XS1100 Special.